Or I should say the answer was no, let's go forward. Okay. It's because D five six six eight eight four. In that case, Council Appearance of the Record. Good morning, Your Honor. Melvin Gratis, Bar number 12972 for Lori. Lori is present, located at Council's table. Okay. Good morning, Your Honor. Jessica Peterson, Bar number 10670, present with Mr. Mack. All right. Have you guys talked at all? Briefly. Uh, we, we met yesterday, or okay. we spoke yesterday. Okay. Um, we exchanged discussion items regarding the holidays and proceeding. Um, I don't think we're on the same page. Okay. And uh, that's where we're at. Um, I did receive their reply. I'm assuming the court did. I got it late last night. I've read it. It has some factual inaccuracies that, depending on what the court wants to do this morning, uh, we'll discuss. And, Your Honor, just I apologize for the late filing. I was retained literally on. What day is today? Thursday? Two, Two days ago, on Tuesday evening at about 3.30. Well, I mean, if that's the case and you feel a little behind the ball... And I are, don't. I'm ready to proceed. We've already got the... Well, I don't know what it is you're actually wanting, a trial in the case? Um, well, my understanding is from the last hearing that you were the reading the minute order that you were inclined to go ahead and allow the parties to have... Um, the, the default vacation schedule. I did. I gave it to, I and, gave it to everybody, correct? And then you were going to do an evidentiary hearing on the rest. So I don't know if you want to go forward, if you want to have an evidentiary hearing. One of the items that we discussed yesterday was enforcing what Your Honor had as far as the vacation default schedule and then putting the rest on the back burner for an evidentiary hearing. There were some concerns on plaintiff's side for that, and so I don't know if you want to weigh in on that, Your Honor, or uh, where we go from here. But I have read everything, um, and I've spoken with my client, and I've read all of their pleadings, and I am prepared. So it's up to the court as to how you would like to proceed. Ms. Grimes. Regarding the holiday schedule, Your Honor, this is a father who hasn't spoken to his son since August. The idea to implement an entire week over summer with a young man who does not wish to go see his father, and his father currently has two active warrants out of Las Vegas Justice Court. For what? Traffic warrant. tickets. Traffic tickets and driving on a suspended license. The warrant is not on the driving with the suspended. It's not. There's two warrants. No, one. there's one, and they're both on traffic tickets. Okay. And we actually believe that as to those, that um, the court has just not gotten the information because as your court, as your honor is aware, he did spend 34 days in jail for a whole host of traffic tickets. Okay. So and we just, we think that those were tied up in that and it hasn't been updated. And again, uh, I, I tend to not do this, which is interrupt and Sorry. just interject. But as the court knows, that's not true. He spent 34 days in Henderson for those violations, not in CCDC, he was released in late July, early August of, 2000, of 2017 and simply chose to not come to court. He was not in jail, as he says in that reply. Stop, he was stop, out of custody, and I will remind the court, the day of the hearing, he texted his son at 3.15 in the morning, basically saying, goodbye, remember, I love you. And the court will see what's going on over here. This is exactly what I've been dealing with since the last court hearing of trying to communicate and do what this court said, which was, and, and again, minutes are always nice, but I was there and I've seen the video and I went back and watched it. And what the court said was, ultimately we're going to be doing something like this at a minimum. Didn't mean that he was going to get it two weeks later for eight days with someone he... No, I understand. Listen, I understand the circumstances. So here's, here's what I don't know. If, if that's what you're saying, I do not know what a 12-year-old under the circumstances is going to say. So, okay. Fair I, enough. I agree. He should probably get some Christmas time. And we have made an offer, but the offer on the table at this point, and we will let him choose, is Christmas Day. I don't even... Or Christmas Eve. 
my client, because he does not have a driver's license, will deliver and pick up the child, but that overnight is inappropriate. Okay. What we are also asking is that, and again, the courts watched this, he needs to have some anger management counseling, and then we need to have some reunification counseling. Someone dropped off a, a video. Those are the videos talked about in the supplemental materials uh, regarding... Have you seen them? I saw them yesterday, Your Honor. To, uh, to be fair, I don't think that they show what counsel is portraying. Well, I, have, I haven't seen because they were just attached to my, I didn't, they weren't submitted to me yesterday. They were submitted to me, I just have them this morning, so the only way I could even review them would be with you guys in front of everything, but uh, at least my law clerk's notes about what they entail is your client acting a fool at a basketball game? Well, baseball, sir. Sir, it was a baseball game, actually, and um, I disagree I'm with sorry, with that assessment. I've reviewed okay. them. Okay, you disagree um, with my law clerk's assessment. Then, I do generally... because because I think that he was there. He was trying to watch his child play baseball, who he hasn't seen in a long time, and the only way that he's been allowed to see him is in public places. And somebody got in his face started filming him and he was basically like i'm here to see my child leave me alone and so how long before that excuse me how long before that before he'd seen his child at the game one month a little uh, little league world series okay this is a the, sean west is a coach that has a multiple history a, a continued history of negligence and being involved with umpires and I asked, I said, hey, can we brush the plate off? My son was starting pitching a game. Oh, my gosh. I don't need your little no, nuanced no. facts. Okay. Of these for, so, no, it, listen, it, there's no question posed to you right now. Sorry, sir. I've done nothing. This guy. Stop you, you're talking. On, the reply right says that Lori told him he had to leave from the game. That, that's what his listen, motion. All I got here, my last quote to my law clerk, yeah, it, dad starts yelling in a crowd of people. She quotes, I don't know if this is how it ends. I got a lawyer on the way. I'm not worried about police. I have a right to be here. And that's what we're dealing with. Great sports parenting. And, and again, he's got the motion, now we'll reply. We still don't have a single text to Lori saying, hey, when can I see Sean? Not one. Because, frankly, they don't exist. What he does is demand listen, and says, listen, I here, want Listen, here's this. what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him his holiday time. I will give him... Will he go over on a weekend? I'm asking your client. I, I, what we had discussed was to try to do during the day on either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. No, I, I get that. Okay, oh, tell I'm me sorry. about Christmas first. We're willing to give him either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. She will deliver and pick up. There's two active warrants and he has no license. I understand that. So which one do you Uber, want? He can take Lyft. He can take a taxi. So it doesn't one? fix the warrant. Which one would you like, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Your Honor, I'm asking for one overnight from Christmas so it would be Eve. Christmas when, Eve, and then when, she can pick up at noon on Christmas Day. 6 p.m., please? No, not 6 p.m. What's, what's my stop. noon? He just told you noon. That's his okay. Problem. Your Honor, then noon. I will take Christmas Day, please. Then he can have from noon until Six. 8 o'clock at night. Yes, sir. On, on Christmas Day? On Christmas Day. <clears throat> I'm trying to get Mr. Grimes again a little bit more till I can get the child interviewed. FMC, like everybody else, is kind of way slow things down because of the holidays. Okay. Uh, I want to see what the child will ask about de facto contact. We'll ask about what his desires are, and then we'll go from there. Um, and I mean, ultimately, I like I told you before, I still believe they have the right to set a trial. But it, your client seems to have a great case for at least. A few years again, according to allegations, I don't know the case till we till we get into it of uh, having uh, being the primary caretaker of the minor child. Your Honor, I think that um, I don't know if you want to address this now, but or if we need to address it later. Um, can we at least get joint legal custody back? I understand that we might need to have an evidentiary on the, but I I, I think that yeah, joint legal. Would be appropriate in this case. And we have opposed it at Why? this point. 
One, because the original motion does not lay out a prima facie case. The standard to change legal custody is best That's interest of the child. Mr. Grimes, this is a default. And again, I, I would be a hypocrite because someone could come back and play at least 200 video hearings where I state, and it is my policy, that the only way I take away someone's legal custody rights is if they're incarcerated. Because I don't think that's... And, and I don't disagree, but he had remedies under 60B. He waived them. Again, um, the standard's clear. All we're asking, and, and again... You're not getting custody by default. We can argue this ad nauseum if you want. Okay. Joint, legal, or, and if you want me to give you the citation for it, there's actually no time bar mm -hmm. when it comes to custody. Want the citation in case you're on the other side in a different court? Yeah. I will certainly give it to you. It's a, uh, it's a Asian name, K I, K A I, S I N G, L A M. This is the first litigant. Eighty six Nevada nine oh eight. It's a nineteen seventy case that's still in effect. It exempts child custody matters from the time limitations of Rule sixty B and C. Okay. Again, there still has, here's my problem, and, and the court may be able to fix this. We believe, and this is honestly what we're concerned about, that he wants joint legal to remove Sean from his current baseball team. No, listen, I, that is not, nothing is going no. to happen. No. Okay. No. The only thing you will be able to do with that right now, well, would actually both parties, everything's just remained de facto, the way it is, status quo, not de facto. Is he has a right to obtain records. Okay. In that case. Yeah. He has a right to be involved in the decisions, too. You know, if she decides okay. to. Reed Rivero, too. Significant yeah. decisions. So, I agree. Okay. Agreed, Your Honor. Okay. Agreed. Okay. Now, the other thing, and Lori clarified it for me, and I do want it clear. He keeps saying that he's prohibited from being at the baseball games. He's not. Okay. Okay. He is permitted to be there. What has happened is they have a parent app. They removed him from the app because the allegation was that he was posting inappropriate things regarding the divorce. So they removed him from that. Your Honor, that He's is an entire lie. I have never posted you have, anything. You have on any zero. App. You oh, have zero about? impulse okay, control. I, I, you I, have I, zero I, impulse control. You have an attorney standing right there. You have a marshal standing right there. And you can't even keep your mouth closed. Zero. I apologize. So. He is still welcome at the games. He's welcome at practices. They just don't want that. Okay. Back. okay. Listen, with if if this again, my law clerk's narrative of what occurred, and that's how it ended, with saying my lawyer's on the way to this baseball game and I'm going to be able to get what I want to do. Again, his his acts in court are getting caught by camera. And so if, if this thing is ever reviewed by somebody, you can see all this. Please, sir. You think that helps you blurt now? Sir, mm. stop talking. And your attorney telling you to be quiet the whole time you still talk over. Apologies. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to her. I apologize. And again, I, uh, well, and again, it sounds like the court has addressed our issues, which is yeah, I'm, we don't I'm want the for, uh, The only thing we worked out Christmas is it's going to be a little bit more time to get back from the child interview. What can we order temporarily? At least a day or. To we, I was going to say every other weekend for right now. We'll be back in about six weeks. Right now, Sean does not. It, I had Lori talk to him after the last uh, hearing, and I told him he doesn't get to decide. So you've got to have right. a real discussion with him about seeing his father. He does not want to stay the night. He is worried about his, his Listen, father's anger. Mr. Grimes, 
I think him going over there is going to add to his insight when he gives a child interview. Okay. Which uh, I do. So, is so there, let's go every other weekend. For the entire weekend? Every other weekend, yes. Okay. So is that is that going to be overnight, Your Honor? Or are we going to do the drop-off, pick-up, and two that days? Would be, that would be every other weekend, overnight. So it would be the weekend, um, we'll say, uh, following, because New Year's is not on a... Uh, so you have New Year's. New Year's is not on a weekend. On a weekend. I'm not dealing with the 12-year-old New Year's as far as the temporary schedule. So we'll retract. If we did give you the standard schedule, that will not be the order. We put the terms of the day and time for Christmas. The every other uh, weekend would be uh, given it to the 12-year-old. The uh, plaintiff will uh, drop off and pick up. It will be uh, 9 a.m. on Monday and then 7 p.m. on Sunday. Um, is he going to have any sports stuff? Um, till we get back. That's just till we get back. I I, I was just questioning the Monday. Is that Monday? No, no. Pick up? Oh, no, sorry. no, it's on Monday. Oh. Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, you I said Monday. Sat s sorry. <laughs> Saturday at nine until okay. Sunday. Okay. At That's seven. Saturday. Every other weekend, the weekend starting after Christmas. Christmas is on Wednesday, Mr. Grimes. I'm trying to get the exact date. Okay, so that's fine. So that would be next the 28th. 28th. Uh -huh. And okay. you guys have a sports schedule, Your Honor. I have it in the app that they go about a month in advance. Well, this is the other thing, and I think uh, it, it's coming. I'm not going to order it today. We'll probably need more brochures. I'm likely from what I can tell about this situation, I'm going to have them go to the cooperative parenting course. Okay. I don't know that the defendant is going to learn that much. I can assure you, you will learn how to deal with a highly litigious parent. So you will probably learn more from it than you will. I did go through it last bit when we were going through the... Six weeks? The six week or eight week oh, one? Oh, not the extensive one. No, Sorry. it's the extensive okay. one. Okay. So you'll have to go to one... You don't go together, you go to one, he goes to a different class. And I think both sides are in agreement that there needs to be some reunification counseling. Involved. Again, the one thing I'm asking is that before he does that, that he take an anger man a series of anger management classes. I keep reiterating that. Because um, I don't think until the impulse control and the anger is under control that the reunification will go well. That's our goal. Um, it's not to keep him from his son. I don't, but, I don't know what the, do you have other criminal history in the state of Nevada? Absolutely not, sir. Again, and nowhere in the country. And, and, and to be clear, I run it, it's all traffic and driving yeah. and a suspended license repeatedly. Okay. Again, I, I don't have, I would not have a reason to send him to that right now. Listen, is, and again, no disrespect, but everybody can, everybody else in the room can see how he acts, how he acted last time. Uh, I gotta choose my words carefully. Would a lay person find him obnoxious, boisterous? Likely. Does that make him a bad parent? No. I, but it does also not equate to me sending him to a to an anger management class. Okay. So. And just the hours on Christmas was that noon to eight, twelve to eight. 12 to eight. Yes. Is that the yes. drop off for two days? She'll, she'll pick up and drop off. Okay. All right. I am going to give them with the holidays uh, at least. A six week period to do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That would make it uh, January 30th at 3.30 would be the return. As uh, both counsel know, you can get a copy of that report a day or two prior to. My uh, department will contact you, let you know it's ready to review, and then you can come and review it at that time. And again, I'll note that that will give him... Do we have a date set for the child interview? No, that will, oh. she'll, she'll set it on the oh. way out since she's got uh, temporary... 
our physical stuff. He has. So it'll be one, two, probably at least two, possibly three weekends, but th at least two weekends that he'll be over there so that uh, he'll be able to generate some insight about, you know, they ask him about what's mom's house like, what's dad's house like, what's this, what's that, okay? Your Honor, there are two other things I just want If baseball falls on his weekend, is he directed to get Sean to baseball? To those practices. Winter League? This is Elite. Elite? Oh, no, it's not. Good God. Good God. It is. It's year round. It's competitive baseball. They travel. Yes. Okay. He's, not, he's not required to travel. Fair enough. If there's an away game, unfortunately, you may end up missing one of those. But. Okay. Uh, We'll, we'll deal with that in the future, but if it's a local game, the answer to that would be yes. But here's the thing. How is he going to get him there if he doesn't drive? Again, I think Lori will. So if you don't have someone with an actual license and yours is not in effect, then she needs to come pick him up to take him. Can I speak? Or you can have someone with a driver's license. That's Affordable transportation will, will be available. Second issue, Your Honor. We're here, he's now retained counsel, he hasn't paid child support, and according to his reply, he's now working a union job. Um, he needs to begin paying his child support timely and immediately. What was it under the default, do you recall? I don't, and, and there's an open R case. I believe it was 675. Yeah, if there's default. an R case, we'll go with the amount that they have. So that could actually be the, uh, when, did they, when did they start taking that out of your check? Um, Last, like last year, I I, I um, called Mr. Grimes, and um, back in December of 2018, and I asked him to please set up a schedule. Lori refused to um, sign anything over to say that there was a receipt of payment. Yeah. So then I called Mr. Grimes. Okay, is, I, is and, child and, support and, getting that money from you? Yes. Now okay. and then. This is, and the county came in, so I'd rather have the county or the state of Nevada be my accountant because they don't want to keep any records. That's fine. Okay. They just want me to pay them for free. I show it's 675. Yes. I, I believe that's correct. All we're, all we're saying is if he can retain counsel and we're here, he needs any. FYI. Listen, she can contact her, she can contact the caseworker and put a bug in the air and say, listen, we've heard he has a union. They, they could find more stuff about him in a minute. They have, because they're a federal program, they have access to all the tax stuff. And Your Honor, if I may, he was my former employee, okay. so I've not I have not been paid a single solitary dime as of yet. Okay. So the the if he can afford to retain, he hasn't paid me anything. So I just wanted that on the record since it seemed like an allegation. The allegation is he hasn't paid anything since August. Mm -hmm. So. But the inference was he was paying me and not paying child right. support, an and, and that's why I'm just clarifying the inference. All right, we'll see everybody back on uh, January 30th, yes. was it? Mm -hmm. 3 3 3 uh, Make sure you check in and set the uh, child interview up, okay? Um, since we're doing some modification, we need an order. Who yeah, I need someone to have an order in case it gets a situation. Where <coughs> I don't, some it's sort of up to you. I'll do it. Okay. 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 Do you want to? Do you want to sign off? Yeah, I'll sign off. Okay. Thank you very much, Your Honor. All right. Have a good day. Thanks. Have a good day, Jim. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh.